I think you have to wait for the green light. How you doing today? Red light there, guys. We're going to show you what it's like crossing into Canada. We were a little nervous because we heard that full timers get turned down quite a bit. And the last time we crossed the Canadian border, Joe was so nervous that he fumbled. And this time was no different. He actually crossed the red light in front of Border Patrol. And we quickly realized that the battery problems we were having in Washington were getting much worse. The battery would not hold the charge any longer. So I realized that I was going to have to replace it, and it was not going to be easy being out of country. So stick around so we can show you what it's like to cross the border and to RV in Canada. Today we are actually heading into Canada, so we're a little nervous about it. We, well, we're a little nervous about the border crossing, but we've heard good things about it, so we'll see. Yeah. They sometimes refuse full-time RVers because they don't have a home and they feel like they could overextend their welcome or overstay their welcome. And so we actually do have a very detailed plan of exactly where we're going, so hopefully that helps us. Yeah, it's the best thing is to have all your ducks in a row when you get to the border crossing. Coltis Lake, and then we're going to Lake Louise to stay for a few days. Where's one for you guys? Uh, New Jersey. South Dakota. Uh, for the US for? Uh, we've been full time RV. I retired from UPS last year, so about 14 months, 15 months. Okay, where do you guys store your firearms? I don't have any firearms. Not with you, but do you own any in the US? No. None? None. So you guys full time out of this trailer? Yep. Uh, do you guys have a permanent address? Yeah, it's in South Dakota. Have you guys been to Canada before? Yes, we've That's been awesome here. here. Actually, last week we took a cruise from Vancouver. How long you guys plan to be in Canada for? Uh, 12 days, and we're crossing back in North Dakota. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Welcome to team. Canada. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> quarter mile, continue straight to stay on Suma's Way, British uh, Columbia. It was a breeze. It was actually really simple. Joe even rambled a little too much because he gets very nervous in these situations, but he I did do. really Why good. He did really good. He does get really nervous. I wish that I could drive Ooh. this because I'm better at this than he is, but we still got it. <laughs> And we're gonna have the best time in Canada and it was a breeze so don't get nervous also um, the passenger is not supposed to do any of the talking so just so you know and it's extremely hard for people like me because I'm the one that does all the planning and all know exactly where we're going and everything and Joe really just is the driver he doesn't really even know where we're going until the minute we're going the thing that, that got me all flustered was that there was a red light at the check station and I went through it because the car in front of me went and I just went up to the booth but first thing he said to me okay guys that was a red light there yep and it totally threw me off so pay attention to the lights obviously yeah and listen to your wife because I said it was a red light oh Canada finally are in BC. We made it two days ago. 
we are staying at a thousand trails campground which the thousand trails campground is the only one outside of the u.s uh it's a pretty nice campground um pretty small but really clean and it's got a really nice pool and a good view and we're really enjoying it so far um today we are just going to get some work done since our Alaska trip, we kind of been slacking and we haven't gotten any work done. And we have to do some planning, we have to do some editing. Joe has a lot of work to do too. So we're just gonna take today to do that, but then we're gonna go to the store because, Joe, do you wanna explain what's been going on? Yeah, we have a 20, 2022 F-250 and the battery has not been holding a charge. And I'm wondering if it's because of all the electronics we use all the time, like we're charging our laptop and a lot of stuff like that. And maybe the battery's not having the chance to charge or it's just not lasting as long because of that reason. So I'm going to try to find an upgraded battery. In the meantime, I'm going to buy a jump starter so we're never in trouble and stranded somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go on a hike. Yeah, Teapot Hill it's called. I think it's three miles, uh, but we'll give you all the information. Um, but there's like hidden teapots all throughout the hike. So it looks really cool. And later this week, we might go to a tea time. So mm. I guess this week is themed this tea. It's going to be fun. We've done one once before. We actually have a video of it. I'll link it right here. We loved it. It was so much fun. So we're looking forward to doing that again. Yeah, and that was in Flemington, New Jersey, I believe. Yeah. And um, the campground we're at is near a, bun a, a giant lake, Coltis Lake. Coltis Lake, and we're really a bike ride away from it. So um, we're going to definitely check that out. And I think we're going to go to the beach for one day and just relax. Yeah, because it's a beautiful place for yeah. sure. So we have <laughs> a lot of fun planned this week, and we'll definitely bring you with us with all the fun stuff that we do. Teacup. They're hidden all along the trail. Pretty cool. We made it to the top of Teapot Hill and we counted 70 teapots and cups. And you can see the lake from up here. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, the, the hidden teapots were actually so fun for me. I really love scavenger hunts, so it felt like a little scavenger hunt. And they really were hidden, so it was really fun. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. We actually missed a lot of teapots <laughs> on the way back they're kind of like hidden behind the trees also mm -hmm. so we count it 82 so that's pretty good actually teapots. i was reading on all trails and people were saying in the 60s so we found a lot <laughs> yeah well, we were counting the coffee cups too yeah there's teapots and coffee cups yeah now we are going to a brewery of course but we're not going for beer this one's going to be a little different we're on a little bit of a break from alcohol right now we're taking a break for a couple months yeah but this brewery has non-alcoholic beers it's going to be our first foray into non-alcoholic beers yeah we're excited to try it yeah. and they also have detroit style pizza which i really like and it looks good so we're going to give it a try now let's see if the car will start we forgot about that part yeah we need a new battery for sure let's see what happens Oh, Whee! Yay, we had enough amperage on that one. <laughs> this has really been fun, guys. 
I think we are actually gonna go to Costco and buy a battery though and maybe the next couple days. Yeah, definitely. So we're here at Sidekick Brewing and we got two non-alcoholic beers. We got a Pilsner and an IPA. We're gonna give them a try. Let's see what happens. This one's the Pilsner. It tastes amazing after not having a beer for over a week. I gotta <laughs> say, it's really good. It really has a great Pilsner flavor. Really? It really tastes like beer? Absolutely. Really good. I'm excited. And they have an IPA. A hazy. Wow. Pretty damn good. I gotta say. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm like so excited about this. I don't know why. Oh my god, it tastes like a beer. Right. Wow. It's good. Wow. This tastes like a hoppy beer. <laughs> Cheers. If you're staying here at Coltus Lake, you have to get this pizza. It's the best pizza we've had since we left New Jersey. Really good. Gone. So today in our Ventures Kitchen, we're going to be making Canadian style French toast. I have all the usual makings of French toast. Um, you beat up the eggs, the bread, and the Canadian bacon. I've never actually had Canadian bacon before. I'm not so sure. It looks like a pork product of some sort. So we're going to fry that up first and then do our French toast and make it like a sandwich. Put a little bit of uh, syrup on top. Should be good. Oh yeah. They are looking good. Take the bacon and make like a sandwich on the plate and then put a little syrup on top and we'll be done. All done, pretty simple. Let's try it out. Mm. Canadian bacon is very salty. Gives it a nice salty, different flavor. Really good, I'm a fan. So we finally made it to the lake. We were supposed to come all day. Uh, we ended up talking to our daughter and our grandson on the phone for a while, so that was nice. But uh, now it's like almost three o'clock. <laughs> so, so much for a whole day on the lake. But we are gonna spend the rest of the day on the lake, so we're gonna stay here till sunset. And we are blowing up. We're blowing up our UPS retirement gift, which is a crappy, <laughs> kayak this is either a UPS's gift to me or it's their parting shot <laughs> I don't know which one it is because this kayak seems pretty damn crappy uh, it's the Sevalor so let's see that's why I'm making sure before I go out 
My vest is fitting really well. This water's cold. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> help, help. Joe needs a beer now, but like I said yesterday, we're not drinking beer, but we did get two of the beers from the pizza place. They're actually, they weren't from the brewery we went to, they're from Phillips. I don't know if that's made in Canada or not. Yeah, made in Canada. Made in Victoria, Canada. So we're gonna we're gonna enjoy our beers because Joe. I almost died out <laughs> on the lake. <laughs> Thanks, UPS. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. More camera problems. <laughs> so we are heading to a tea time. Yep. I'm so excited about it. We've been one time before in Flemington, New Jersey. And when we were doing our whole New Jersey series, if you're from New Jersey and you want to check out a cool series, it's got everything that New Jersey has to offer, definitely check it out. I'll leave the playlist right here. And I'll also leave the video that we did from our last tea time, our very first tea time that we ever did. So anyway, we're heading there and then we are going to... Costco to find a battery for our truck because this battery has been giving me problems for about a week now. And I know it needs to be replaced. These new trucks have a lot more uh, electronics in them, so they use more batteries. So I think I'm going to replace it with an AGM. The battery it has right now is a wet, wet cell battery, and it's not holding a charge anymore. I tried to charge it a few times already. So I'm going to buy a new battery at Costco. Supposedly they have a great warranty, and the battery is pretty cheap here in Canada. So, so see how it goes. Wish us luck. Let's see if it starts. If it starts oh, yeah. God. Uh... Uh, uh, woo! Oh, she started today. Yes, I don't have to get out in the rain with the jump starter that I bought. I bought this jump start pack. So, just in case, it's good to have it for insurance. And as a second thought, now we need windshield wipers too. Check this out. Of course, it happens when it starts raining that I need new wipers, right? 
So I think the hardest part about being in Canada is their metric systems for everything. Every other country in the world uses the metric system. Trying to figure out miles versus kilometers is not easy. So right now it says 8.2 kilometers to get to our, de our destination. And it's 13 minutes away. So I'm assuming that it's about two miles. Or no, no, no. I'm assuming it's five miles, but I have no idea. We have to calculate everything, but while we're in Canada, we have Metro phone service and we did not get a Canadian plan. So we don't have phone service when we're out. Joe actually had to download the maps on our phone so that we're able to still use our GPS. But uh, yeah, we don't have phone service here. So it's not easy. It's not easy to be in Canada without phone service. I think that I would have, if I were to do it again, I probably would have looked into getting some kind of phone service while we were here because it's pretty challenging. It's time for high tea. And the tea is, we need a new battery. I did like your tea time. So we loved our tea time and we got to talk a little bit about our YouTube channel. I guess that's a good tea conversation, right? So we're here for the high tea and we got the nice platters with it with sandwiches and desserts. I also wanted to talk about the exchange rate. Um, right now, it costs us about 70 cents to get a Canadian dollar. So our dollar is worth more. So it also helps us out when we're buying things here in Canada. So the tea time ended up being $25 a person and that came out to be $18 a person in Canadian. So it's definitely a big difference. Here the speed limit's 100 kilometers per hour, which is about 65. But everything is in the metric system here in Canada. So it takes a little getting used to, but it's not bad. I like the exchange rate on the money. Figure out your gas price in US dollars here in Canada. We take the price, which is 1.65. Oh. No. <laughs> 1.65 per liter times three. 0.78 and that is 623 a gallon and that's Canadian and then I'll take that I'll take 623 CAD to USD and that gives me 450 a gallon 453 a gallon that's how you do it and Costco has the cheapest price around for gas. And because it's cheap gas, we have to wait in a very long line. Here's the gas line. It's not working? Here we go. Oh. The heck? What are we recording? What are we recording? What is going on? Excuse me, Tina. Nothing. What's the matter? Is there something wrong? This weird lady was asking us, what are you recording? What are you recording? <laughs> she was really weird. And when I told her nothing, she continued to argue with me. So I think that's the first time that's ever happened to us that somebody was like really insisted on trying to figure out why we were recording. Um, it was just a little weird, but I just like, tried to ignore her, but she just kept going at it. 
Now it dies. So the gas was 99.33 and what just happened, Joe? Now it's not gonna start. <laughs> right when we're in the parking lot to get a battery. With all these cars. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Now we have everyone around us. Try it. Woohoo! Okay, everybody is staring at us. We have caused so much attention to ourselves today. <laughs> How do you feel, Joe? I feel like people are just staring at me here all day. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. somebody to move because there is no way we're getting this baby out okay we are in a really situation here because I knocked on their door and they did not answer so <sighs> he's gonna try it but I don't know it makes me nervous actually we got it we are leaving the campground now it was a beautiful campground like we said and we really enjoyed our time we are actually driving about four hours today uh 382 kilometers whatever that is i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm not really sure at all how many miles that equals but it's about a four hour drive today we are trying to get ourselves to bamf but we do not like to drive more than four hours in a day yeah, it's about 400 miles to Banff from here, I'm guessing. Yeah. We're going to do about uh, 250 today, I'm guessing. Yeah, so we are just, all we're doing is driving today and sleeping and so that we could get up early tomorrow and go to Take the Banff. next left onto Columbia. So it's break time. We're going to make some lunch. Use the restroom. Well, they call it a washroom in Canada. We are currently at North Yard's Cider Place and we are staying here. It was a halfway point. It's kind of weird to be staying at a cider place when we can't drink cider, but we did buy a four pack to keep for when we do start drinking again. So that ends our time for this week. Um, if you have any questions about crossing the border into Canada, Leave us a message in the comments. I always read them and answer them. So let us know if you have any questions about the crossing. See you next week in Banff.